All right, guys, you just finished up with your warm up um, and you are getting ready for your workout. Uh, we are going to start off with some, uh, some kind of extended Tabata. Okay, so we're kind of doubling down on that Tabata. We're going to end up doing, there's three movements. Okay, um, you're going to end up doing each exercise four times, but we're going to cycle through the movements like we did, I believe, at the beginning of last week. Um, but it's going to be extended rounds. So instead of working for 20 10, you're going to work for 40 20. Ugh, gross. It's going to be nasty. Okay. Um, so you will do your alternating hang power snatch for 40 seconds, rest for 20. Double unders, 40 seconds, rest 20. Burpees, 40 seconds, rest 20. That's one round. You're going to cycle four times. Okay, let's have Jay hop in and go through some of these movements real quick and then we'll talk about part two. Alternating hang power snatch. So depending on objects you've got, you gotta hang on to, you're not going to the ground each time like we normally do. So Justin's gonna do a hang power snatch. And then this is crucial on the hang version, you have to switch on the way down, okay? Because you, you wanna keep that momentum. Boom, if he brings it all the way down, and then switches, he loses that momentum, and you're gonna make this exercise a lot harder than it needs to be, and it's gonna take a lot longer than it needs to for that intensity level that we're looking for, okay? Um, you can absolutely do this with a kettlebell, if that's what you got, a backpack, no right? Way. Whoa, there we go. Switch on the way down, or, yeah, there we go. He's got that little quarter swing at the bottom, so you can keep that momentum, Looks great, perfect. 40 seconds on, 20 seconds off, then double unders. Stick with your three normal options, guys. If you've got a jump rope and you've got that double under skill, knock out double unders. If we're not quite there, especially for that time domain, right? stick with the singles. If we don't have access to a jump rope, you're gonna do your penguin taps for 40 seconds. Mimicking that double under kind of timing and that position, okay? And then we all know a standard issue burpee. The only difference between the burpees we did warm up and the burpees we're gonna do here is we're gonna get that little jump and clap at the top, okay? Uh, but yeah, we're gonna run through four times of that and then you will get into part two of the workout. Three rounds, 30 renegade rows, that is total. 20 single arm seated presses, each arm. Gotta do all 20 on one side and then all 20 on the other and then 200 flutter kicks. The most annoying thing about that is gonna be counting because it's gonna be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. Keep counting. <laughs> good sound effect. Fun part though, the good part is you're gonna get 90 seconds after or at the end of each round, okay? So think of it as like intervals. You're gonna hammer out all that work, rest 90 seconds, and then round two, rest 90, round three, rest 90. Let's have Jay hop in, let's go through some of these movements. Perfect world, the world is not perfect right now, but in a perfect world, you've got two objects for your renegade rows, just like we normally would in class. He's gonna be in that good push-up position. It's one, it's two, it's three, it's 30 total. Now, the world's not perfect, we might only have one object. Keep the object in place, if you're gonna do it with one arm, and walk over that dumbbell, and switch sides, okay? Add that little difficulty, right? If you've only got one object, right? Boom, still 30 total row, okay? Worst case scenario, you only got a kettlebell. This gets a little weird, it's not perfect, but same thing, you're gonna walk over and switch sides so the kettlebell stays in place, your body moves around the kettlebell, okay? But no matter which version you do, it's 30 total. 20 single arm seated presses. So arms are straight out in front of you, just like we did in those straight legged sit ups. 20 presses on the right. Staying nice and vertical. Got to hit all 20. You absolutely might get to the point where you can't do 20 in a row. Still got to do all 20 on the right and then all 20 on the left. We don't need Jay to show us, but you can absolutely do that with the kettlebell as well. Okay? And then the 200 footer kick. So we're in that hollow position. In warm up, like I said, the most annoying part about this is to uh, is going to be counting to 100, but they're going to go real quick because it's 
Slow down a little bit, change the swing. You see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. You're going to 200. Okay? Remember, though, at the end of that 200, you're going to get that 90 seconds of the rest. Any questions, guys? Reach out.